Welcome to the Christian O'Connell Show podcast. Kenny Loggins, Danger Zone. Christian O'Connell Show, Gold 104.3 for getmosh.com.au. Five minutes past seven. Patsy. Yes. How is the temperature at home between you and the Werribee Love God? It's a little frosty. A little frosty Friday Has it night. Thawed now. Is everything all good? Everything cooking on it's gas? It's not completely back to where it was, but uh, we're, oh. work, we're working on it. This is the fault, I believe, of, of pet peeves. <laughs> I didn't know that we'd be opening up such big cans of worms. I had no idea. I just presume when we gave our other halves the right to reply, when we'd said on Thursday, here are part of the pet peeves, and people called in and shared theirs because now we're spending far too much time together indoors, these pet peeves that are always there, they're always aware of, we're really hyper aware of them now. I had no idea on Friday that Chris would really unleash something. Yeah. It'd obviously been... <laughs> was in there, dormant, and he decided to let rip, and this is what he let rip with on Friday. I'm about to embark on the biggest act of self-sabotage. If you're saying that, why do that right now? You can't hide away at work and meetings and so that. You're in captivity. They've caught you. I'm about to embark on the biggest act of self-sabotage since Fonzie dumped Pinky Tuscadero. But here we go anyway. The thing that annoys me the most about Petrina is when she eats, she gnaws on her food. She'll move everything to the back of her mouth. She'll clench down on the back teeth. She'll pull her cheeks back and her neck will fan out like a frill neck lizard. It's really, really horrible to watch. And she insists on doing it even when we're in a restaurant. It's gross and I hate it. Mm. Wow. wow. Don't think he likes wow. it. Wow. <laughs> I get that, the feeling. That is harsh. Right, that is harsh. Mm. Anyway, he's left us, uh, us a message let him know how things are at home. Okay, Christian. Mate, when I heard the show go to air on Friday, I knew there was going to be blowback because I got a text after the show in capital letters, on my way. As soon as I got that, I, I felt like Al Pacino at the end of Donnie Brasco. I felt like I needed to put my watch, ring and wallet in an envelope and sign it to Audrey in case no one ever sees me again. Um, I needed way. a plan. I didn't have one. Actually, what I needed was a panic room, but I didn't have one of those either. So I knew I was going to have to face the fire. So when she came home, she wasn't happy. So my natural instincts kicked in and all I could do was stop, drop and roll. It's the only thing I could think of. And I worked awfully hard, awfully hard all weekend to try to make it up to her. Made her a lovely charcuterie board, glass of bubbles. Don't know if it worked um, because the the dialogue has still been pretty limited all weekend, but I'm hoping it'll blow over soon. But mate, if you ever do one of these segments again, can you promise that you won't include me? (laughs) Thanks, mate. Yes, there's still a way to go. Did the cold cured meats and the glass of champagne do anything, Patsy? It was a starting point, starting let's just point. say. Oh, on my way. <laughs> the Christian O'Connell Show podcast. It didn't take long for Chris to channel something to unleash all that about Patsy and her unique eating habits. <laughs> However, for Jack and I, I guess... <laughs> Our wives hit the lottery. You know, they're with two guys. Faults are strangers to us. Barely on speaking terms with faults. But over the weekend, I kept saying to her, look, there must be. Please, please, think, think, think. She said, I can't, I can't. It's odd. I, I get it. But they don't. And just to help Patsy out, just to help settle things down, find something that really annoys you about me. And suddenly she went in a rant yesterday about something. It's an ongoing thing that's been going on in our relationship for over 23 years. And I went, no, 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 now you found it. Do it now. This one had just happened. My pet peeve has just happened where you have Listen just... Listen to the excitement. It's like a <laughs> Karen on the street somewhere, isn't it? Bayside. <laughs> Dan needs to do this. My pet peeve has just happened. Breathless. Breathless. In the rage. All right. Fire up, Sarah. My pet peeve has just happened where you have just whined on about not being able to find the chai. I've just looked for it. I've... How English do we sound as well? <laughs> where is my chai? <laughs> my pet peeve has just happened where you have just <laughs> whined on about not being able to find the chai. Where was it though? I've just looked for it. I've just looked for it. And then I've gone into the cupboard. Literally, the very, very first thing in front of my eyes is the chai leaves. Right in front of me. I don't even understand. It's because you're literally incapable of opening your eyes or even moving anything. (laughs) 
Can you feel the anger? <laughs> incapable. <laughs> you are incapable of. Just shouts incapable of opening my eyes or moving. <laughs> Technically, I'm dead. <laughs> That's one of like three signs of life, isn't it? Can I just say, am I right, right, right to reply? The chai leaves were hidden in a myster- mysterious jar. I'm meant to open the jar. Oh, it's been removed from the packaging yeah. and put in a special jar. What's yeah. the point of doing that? Yeah, what's the point? To keep it fresh. But there's like five other jars. I don't have time. It's not a game show. It's not deal or no deal. The jar special. I don't have time for that. All right, so, Jackie boy, Bianchi, you obviously had to beg her a weekend. Again, I'm saying, yeah. please, please think of any, oh, yes. anything. Oh, she said, no, no, I refuse to do it. <laughs> but she, I'd be lying. <laughs> eventually, she found some time alone, and she did this actually without me prompting her. Hi, this is Bianca's confessional about my pet peeves about Jack. It might be TMI, but he does this thing where he like doesn't cut his toenails and instead he just like pulls at him like a savage and he just rips them from his feet. It's gross. I hate it. Bye. Oh, Jack. I love the cheery bye there. (laughs) (laughs) It's not when someone says, hey, don't take this the wrong way. And then says someone, there's only one way you're going to take it. Bye. After dropping that show, you don't do that. That's like a cave. That's revolting. Well, we must have. Pull them out. We must have done it as cave people because how else did we get our toenails off? And it actually is so effective. I do agree it's gross for How other do you people pull to watch. Them off though, I don't get it. You use your fingernail, say the th- a fingernail on your thumb to make a small incision in the toenail oh. and then you can peel it. It actually comes off more perfect than if you're oh. cutting it. Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> no, I actually am <laughs> I'm okay. Not at all. Any of this is Can we all agree we're never going to do partner pet peeves Please, again? No. I'm I thought we were going to open the phones no, again. No, I'm going to seal it this idea right bury it under 30 feet of concrete. I move Moving on, we never go near p- partner pet peeves again. You do not pull off your toenails. The Christian O'Connell Show podcast.